Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm thrilled to show you the Jayco 2020 Alante. Now this sits on the Ford F53 chassis with the Triton V10 320 horsepower gas engine. I want to go over the few great features of the front of the coach here. So first of all, we have a partially painted single molded fiberglass front cap. We have these nice oversized windshield wiper blades because this has the largest windshield in, in any RV at 120 inches. So basically, as you're out traveling, making this beautiful country of ours your backyard, it's gonna be like you're at the IMAX picture. Now for some guide talk. I know you're all just anxious to see what's behind here. So it's really easy to get into. First of all, we have our windshield wiper fluid here. Then we have our power steering fluid, our engine air filter, our oil dipstick. Then here we have our transmission cooler, our AC condenser, and then behind that, the radiator. We have our coolant, and above here we have our transmission dipstick, and we have our oil fill, and we have our chassis battery. The Elante sits on the Goodyear 245 tires, so something I want you to go check out is my video on Retroband. Basically, it's a potential life-saving device. It's a spare within your tire. And I'll explain all about it, but it's something that everyone should have on their coach. We also have our convex exterior mirrors. They have the side camera in there. So you're gonna be able to see down the full length of your coach when you put your left and right turn signals on. Here on the passenger side of the coach, I wanna point out some cool features. First of all, something that's not typically done at this price price point are the metal slam latch doors. So open these, they, they're very um, sturdy and then they close nice. So typically you're going to see the twist lock doors and this is much better. Also you have the ABS lined uh, interior storage compartment so waterproof, you're not going to have to worry about that. Then we've got our carefree awning. So this is gonna extend really far out. I'm gonna show you how far it's gonna go out. And I just want you to note that you can adjust the pitch. So right now, it's at the lowest um, button. So it's gonna be very tall, but not have much of a pitch to it. So I can adjust it into these different spots here and change the pitch. And I can do that on the front and the back. So I can have it be at the same pitch or a little bit off so that you can have rainwater fall off it or you know just a better pitch to keep the sun out um, from your shaded area here. So you can do that as well. So I also want you to note the huge window on our entry door. Most uh, coaches in this price point aren't gonna have that big of a window, so I really like that, letting all that natural light in and being able to see this beautiful countryside, especially when you're out at your beautiful camp spot site. Now I wanna put my awning out, so I'm just gonna open the door here, extend my awning. And don't forget we have LED lighting. So you can turn those on and you can kind of adjust where that light is shining too. Now the awning LED lighting strip is providing us with a really nice soft lighting, but if we need a little extra light, we can always turn on our exterior light. As we go through this walkthrough, I'm gonna point out several things that Jayco has basically done to overbuild this coach. So they include more standard items than any other coach that you're gonna see in this class. One of those things was something I just pointed out, the LED lighting on the awning. And then let's talk about J-Ride. So J-Ride, there's computer balance drive shafts. So that's gonna allow less vibrations and road sounds to come up into the coach. So it's kind of like balancing three of your tires on your car, but not the fourth. It's not gonna give you a very quiet or smooth ride. So you are gonna get that in the Salante. It's gonna add to that quietest riding, best handling coach in this class. The other components to J-Ride are jounce bumpers, 
which that is going to keep you from bottoming out or basically metal on metal with your house hitting your axle when you go over bumps and lumps in the road. Uh, it also has front and rear stabilizers, so that's going to reduce the roll, side to side roll and sway. And it also has Saks shocks, which, which is owned by Rolls Royce. All right, another standard I wanted to point out. Most coaches at this price point, you'd expect to see a TPO roof. This has a single piece fiberglass roof, side to side, front to back. So that's just awesome. They have also given us rain gutters on both sides of the coach as well. So here we have a huge storage compartment. Again, it's lined with that ABS molded plastic. And this is a pass through. You also have light in here. So you can put in lawn chairs, tables. It's gonna pass through to the other side. Here's another big compartment. And again, this is also another pass through compartment. Lots of storage. Just above that, we have the exhaust for our furnace. Then we have our marker light here. Here is our six gallon water heater. And you can see through this little uh, glass here if, it, if the pilot light is lit. And this is the vent for our refrigerator. Here is our 16 and a half gallon LP tank. This is the hydraulic pump for the leveling jacks. Here's our quick connect for our gas grill. Here is our house battery, which is on the Moride slide out tray. And we have another huge storage compartment here. They give us lights. That's something that you don't see in all storage compartments, which is really nice. And this is prepped for solar. So if you want to add solar panels, you can do it. It's already prepped for you. And one more storage compartment. And again, I've got to love that it's lit. So you're going to be able to find all your goods in there. So check out this great entertainment center. First of all, I want to point out again, this is another standard feature. You might see on this on other RVs at this level, but it's going to be an option, not a standard. So we have a nice big screen TV. Now, we also know that sometimes that sun's going to come in at different angles. We're going to have our awning out, but we still might be getting a glare. So we can pop this out and angle it away from the sun or angle it towards our guests. That's a really nice feature. We also have the exterior speakers. We have two 110 outlets and we have our radio over here. We can also do CDs and DVDs right here as well. So here in the back, a couple things that I want to point out again, Another standard feature is your rear view camera. You've got your marker lights, and then we've got a third brake light. So this is only gonna come on when you push the brake pedal. And then we have a 5,000 pound uh, towing capacity hitch. So you're gonna be able to easily tow your 4,000 pound Jeep. Here we have the compartment for our 30 amp shore power cord. And there's a little spot here so you can Feed that through the bottom of the coach so you can keep your coach nice and sealed up so you don't get any rodents or critters in your coach. So here's our wet bay. And I really like what Jayco's done for us here. First of all, we've got a light. So we're gonna light that up. Here's our pump. We can turn that on here. Then they've got a description of all the different um, situations you may be in and what you're supposed to put all these knobs at. So dry camping and it shows you exactly what to do with the white, the blue, the green, and the red. So it's just super simple. Um, that's why I like to keep it super simple. City water, how, what to do when you winterize, sanitize. Also, there's an owner's manual. They want you to look at that whenever you winterize your coach. Something that you won't have to worry about if you store with us at National Indoor RV Centers. We also have our low point drain, our filter for the coach. Here is our handy dandy shower outdoor shower so we just plug that in right here we have hot and cold we have our black tank rinse and our city water fill this i really like they've got we've got a paper towel holder here so that you can clean up after you've done all the messy work we've got our rv starter kit here and a little spot for our soap and again we can put our hose our water hose through this compartment here and keep this compartment all sealed here we have a, our satellite and cable inputs. 
You might be wondering where you keep your sewer hose, or I like to call it the stinky slinky. Well, they've got the perfect spot for it. So right here in your bumper, take that off, and you've got the perfect spot. Here's your fuel fill for your 80 gallon gas fuel tank. Then we've got our T-bars for our gray tank and our black tank. Our gray tank is 40 gallons and our black tank is 50 gallons. And then this is where we'd hook up our sewer hose for our gravity dump. So the marker light, our engine exhaust. Then this is the other side of our large pass-through storage area. And again, the other side of our large pass-through area. So you have lots of storage in this coach. A few more standards that I want to point out. We have the frameless windows, and then just look how many windows we get and how big they are. I love the windows in this coach. We also have slide toppers on our slide outs, so those are another standard that you get. Here is our 4000 Onan generator and the generator exhaust. That's on the driver's side of the coach, so again, you can enjoy the campsite on the passenger side of the coach. Last but not least, here we have a small storage compartment, but that's what I love about what Jayco has done with this coach. So they've optimized this space, even though it's a small space, I'll find something that goes in there, whether it be firewood or something for my jacks, it doesn't matter. I just love that I have that space that I can use. So as I step into the Elante, there's a few things I want to point out. First of all, I've got a power electric step, which is really nice. Comes full extension out, so just make sure when you're coming out of the coach, you let that step extend all the way before you jump out. And also let it come out and stop. These aren't meant to be ridden on, you know, like the amusement park steps. So let it come all the way out. Then you've got a power button. So once you're camping, you're gonna wanna hit the power button so that the step just stays out and doesn't go back and forth every time you open and close your doors. Also, when you turn your ignition on, that step is going to automatically retract. So you're gonna hear that, but you might wanna visually look for that as well. I also like that we've got nice grab bars. So when we're coming in the coach, when we're leaving the coach, that's just another nice safety feature that they've packed into this. Now, right as I walk into the coach, here's my main power disconnect. So that's nice. I like that, you know, when I when I leave the coach, I can just hit that off. When I'm coming back in, I can hit it back on. Here's the power step button that I just discussed. And then we have our awning lights. So when you're out at night and you wanna enjoy a little lighting, LED lighting, you're gonna come in here, just hit that button. And you can also extend and retract your awning from here as well. Then we have our carbon monoxide detector and our fire extinguisher. So as I move in, I wanna talk about this cabinet right here. So this is a really nice deep cabinet. You have access to it from the front of the sink and from right here. So if you wanna put some things that you need to get handy when you're outside, you could throw them in here. But also if you have pots and pans and you wanna to get to the back of this cabinet, you're not gonna to have to unload the cabinet to get to what you need since you've got two access points. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that my favorite part to show you is the interior. So I love the interior of the Elante. This is the Albany interior package. And one of the things I really like is this front cab area. I think it looks really nice and there's like a little extra that I'm gonna show you. But before we go there, let's talk about what we get up front. So up front we have the MCD shades in the front cab area. We have these seats that I've turned around so that makes our living room even bigger. We have our map lights, so we can use those for when we're driving or we can direct those. And they can be our reading lights now that we've turned our chairs around. We have those on both sides. And then we have storage. Now this is just a faux storage here so that it looks like all the other cabinets, but all the rest of these cabinets, we get a lot of storage one on that side and two over here. So you, we all know that you can never have enough storage. So one of the things I love about this front area here is there's a bunk. And I lo love the way that they've done this because it really isn't one of those things that you notice as soon as you walk in the coach. Some overhead bunks, you notice them as soon as you walk in the coach. This one, I think they've done a nice job of you know, doing the cabinets and it's not the first thing you see. So there's a couple unique things about this bunk bed. Uh, first of all, it will hold up to 750 pounds. 
So think about that. That's two full-size adults, or let's put it in terms I understand, like two NFL linemen like my son-in-law. Not that that would probably be his first choice to sleep out there, but you could get two big guys, big adults up there. So that's almost double the industry standard for overhead bunks as far as the weight rating goes. So throughout this coach, I'm gonna show you how Jayco has overbuilt this. So it's really the biggest bang for its buck in this class. Okay, so I wanna talk about how this bunk bed works. First of all, they built in a few safety features, which I think are really nice. First, you have to have the key in to make it go up and down. But we've all had, you know, you leave the key in so you don't wanna lose it, but you could have Junior here that hops up on the, the sofa here and he wants to play with the bunk bed. There's another safety feature, you've got a seat belt here. That's not to seat belt someone into the bunk bed. That is, this mechanism will not work at all if that's latched. So I can turn the key on, push it down. You can see the light goes on, but nothing's happening. It's because I have that seat belt latched. So once I unlatch that, take that out. Now put my key in the on position and then hit the arrows down. Make sure you've turned your chairs, your captain and co-captain's chairs so they're straight, either looking at the windshield or turn straight this direction so that they, you don't hit them with the bunk bed when you come down. So easy as that. Now you've got your bunk bed. We've also got a button here for the light. So we can switch that on and off. That only operates once the bunk bed is down. Now we need to get the ladder out. So they've given us a great place to store the ladder. You just lift up the cushion here and there's slats and you can easily lift the ladder out, hook it to the side here and you're ready to climb into bed. So I wanted to show you how comfortable, or demonstrate how comfortable this bed is. First of all, I put in the like little baby bumpers, I guess that's what I'm gonna call them, or the safety guards. So one in the front, and then one that goes along the back side here because there is a gap where a small, small child could fall into the dash. So we wanna make sure that doesn't happen. I also failed to mention that this light, I told you that there's a switch down here but that's not gonna work unless it's engaged by the magnet, which is a sensor at the very bottom when the, the bed is all the way down. So I can turn that on and off. So when I start to raise this bed, if I forget to turn off the light, it's gonna automatically go off. So I'm not gonna have the bed up and shut with the light still on. I also wanted to show you one of the reasons why this bed is so comfortable is that there's some lattice down here below the mattress, which is gonna give it some spring so it's not just mattress against a hard flat board. Here in the living room, I wanna point out a couple of things that Jayco does where they go above and beyond. First of all, it's their seat belts. So in all the seating locations, you have seat belts. That's not normal for most class A's in this range. So you're gonna have two in the forward facing booth, two in the rear facing booth. Many manufacturers do not put seat belts in the rear facing booth because they don't pass the DOT standards. Jayco's do. And then we've got two seat belts here in the theater seating. Then notice the theater seating. Obviously we all love that, right? So just sit here, push the button, and you've got comfortable seating for two and your TV's directly across from you, so it's great for viewing. Now I've got this beautiful coach RV. I'm gonna go out and enjoy nature. One of the things that's gonna really help me enjoy that when I'm inside my coach are these windows. So check out the windows, nice huge windows. So you're gonna have a great view of your campground and your surroundings. Also they have um, screens, they open. So you're gonna be able to get that constant ventilation if you're up in the mountains and smell that beautiful mountain air. One of my favorite things. So I really like how Jayco does that as well. Then we've got the LED lighting underneath the cabinets. We've got the light switch here. And then the light switch over there is gonna be for the dinette area. And we've got a one tin outlet here, one tin outlet there, and nice storage 
in both of those compartments. In this Elante, we have seven foot ceilings. So even for my husband, who's 6'4", he's gonna have plenty of room in here. It's really nice, it feels roomy, it feels big. Also, we have our smoke detector here, our over the air, our crank antenna here, LED lighting. We have two 11,000 BTU AC units. Now, that has kept this coach super cold. I've actually had goosebumps this morning. So it really does a nice job of cooling the coach. You get a nice roomy booth with the Elante. One of the things I really like, so you can scoot in here, you can see that there's plenty of room. Easily get four people here. You've got the cup holders, plenty of room to play cards, very residential fill countertop or tabletop. And then the thing that I really love is that obviously this makes into a bed and it's super easy. So let me show you how that's done. So I'm just gonna take the back cushions off. Keep it easy, I'm just gonna fold those up for just a second. You've also got a little bit of storage underneath the booth and you can access it by taking those cushions off. Then this is really cool. So there is no leg on that table. So that's why you can easily get four in there very comfortably. You're not gonna be hitting a table leg. And then you just simply pull it up, bring it down, and then it pushes right back in. There's the base for your bed. You bring your two cushions back down. And then they've given you another perfectly sized cushion. To go in the center here. And it's nice and tight so that you're gonna have a good comfortable bed. When it's time to go to sleep. Now this coach will sleep six people, two in the bunk, two at the dinette, and then two back in the master bedroom. So you also might want to be able to, you know, feed that many people comfortably. At the booth, you're gonna comfortably get four people. So I love that Jayco has given us an extra eating area. So it's super easy. You just take your table leg there, screw that in, tighten it down. And then you take your tabletop and put it on. And now I've got an eating area, a workstation, drink holders, whatever I want here in the front cab area. Now to the kitchen. I know you've all been waiting to hear more about the kitchen. First of all, we have the RV solid surface countertops, which are beautiful. We've got the sink covers here. I always like that so I can hide my dirty dishes underneath this side, use this side. We've got the residential faucet here so you can pull that out and work with that, which I like so you can clean your sink really well. And we've got the stainless steel undermount sink. So that's really nice, very high-end feature. And then one of the things that I really love that's on this counter is we've got this little push button here and voila, look we have are two 110 outlets and two USB outlets there. So if you don't need it, push it, put it away. But if you wanna put the coffee pot here, your blender, whatever, they're nice and handy. You also have two 110 outlets here so you can plug things in there as well. Then I want you to notice that we have this beautiful backsplash. So new for 2020, it goes all the way along the whole kitchen counter here and turns the corner so we've got protection around our stove top and it's really nice plus it looks great very residential very current in homes right now so i think they've done a really nice job with that then we've got our window here on the roller shade again that window opens so you can get ventilation there and then we have our nice 39 inch led tv and above that, I want you to notice the LED lighting again underneath the cabinets. We've got the switch for the lights right there. And then we have the solid wood cabinets. So these are really nice. So a few things I want you to point out, they have the mortise joints. So if you look in a lot of the RVs that you may have looked at as you're shopping and doing your research, if you look at those joints, they're just gonna be stapled together. So these are actually screwed in, so they're very, nice they're not going to squeak they're not going to break and you've got the two 
struts there on your drawers. So they're nice, they open really nice and close very nice as well. And I wanna point out this cabinet again. So I talked about this when we came into the coach that you could get access to that. So here it is, huge space underneath your sink, two levels, two sh or just you know one shelf, two sections there. Nice big area for storage. And then look at all these drawers that we have. Again, nice full extension drawers. They work nice and smoothly. And all of our ducted air, our furnace, is gonna come out of our cabinets, not out of our floor. Look at that, another huge cabinet there. Lots of storage. And then we're gonna move over to our storage above our microwave here. 110 outlet, that's where your microwave plugs in. And then we have our residential size microwave. So really nice and big with a round turntable so you can have that even, even cooking. You've got the light that you can turn on from the microwave. And then we have our Furion all-in-one. So it's our gas cooktop, three burner stove, plus our oven. So we can push that, turn it on. Here's our igniter for our uh, stove cooktop and then we can all of our dials and we can bake our homemade cookies that's super important for me <laughs> I also like they've added this is a new cooktop cover for 2020 just folds back and then there's a little bit of a spring so it just easily folds up it's going to give you another protection against your backsplash and it's just very easy and it has a place to go. I, I like that I don't have to find a place to put my cover now that I'm using my stove. So another feature where Jayco has overbuilt is with the refrigerator. So standard in most coaches of this level, you're gonna get a six cubic foot refrigerator. In the Elante comes standard, the eight cubic foot two door refrigerator freezer. Now, if this isn't big enough for you and your family, you can also option in the 12 cubic foot four door refrigerator freezer. So it's not really camping if we don't have room for all of our food and goodies, right? So Jayco has given us a nice big pantry with three shelves. Look how deep those are. I'm gonna be able to get a lot of food in there and then another shelf down below. So we have plenty of room for all of our goodies. This is the power control center. So this is gonna give us a lot of information about the coach. First of all, this is where we can start and stop our generator. This is also where we're going to extend and retract our slides. And then it's gonna give us information about our tank. So push the button here. Our LP tank is full. Our batteries are full. Our fresh tank is two thirds full. Black tank is empty. And a gray tank is empty. Then we can turn on our tank heaters here. Our water pump, you can turn that on here. And then we have our LP gas and our electric heat for our water heater. So we can use LP or we can use electric or we can use them both at the same time if we want it to be more efficient and quicker hot water. <laughs> then we have our power management system. So we're on a 30 amp power here and we've got two AC. So it's gonna manage that power load. If we are over task, tasking the system, it's going to shed the load accordingly. Here's our thermostat for our cool and our heat. And then we've got our light here. And this is our 1000 watt Xantrex inverter. And it will let us know right now that we're, our battery's at 14.3 volts and we are bypassing because our batteries are charged. So as we move into the bathroom and master bedroom area, I wanted to show you that Jayco has given us a nice privacy door, so it actually has a stopper here. So as you push the door open, you push it into that and it gives it a nice firm seal so that you have privacy between your living room and your kitchen into your bathroom area. Then you also have another privacy curtain for the bedroom, so just snaps right in. So you literally can have your own section between the shower and the bathroom, the living room and kitchen, and then you can shut off the bedroom as well. Another new feature for 2020 
is Jayco has added this beautiful like marbling effect to the interior wall of the shower. Just gives it more of that luxurious residential feel for the shower. Now I want to show you how big this is. So I've got heels on. I'm 5'6", couple inch heels. I've got this skylight here. So I've got plenty of room for tall people in here. I love that they give you the handheld. You can either just put that up here or you can hold that. So if you've got little kids, you can get them showered. And then they have a nice enclosure here. You just unlatch it from inside the shower and then just slide it closed. So the 31V comes with a generously sized bathroom. So you've got a hook here for your towels. You've got the bath light and you've got the bath fan. So you've got a fan here just like you had in your kitchen. You can manually open that and then you can turn on the fan from this switch here. We've got our toilet. Then we've got lots of counter space here. Storage over here to the side. Another big cabinet with storage here. And a little flip top drawer for our toothpaste and toothbrushes. And then we've got our 110 outlet, two 110 outlets, towel holder. I know I put, point these things out. I know it seems like that'd be obvious, but you'll be surprised when you get into some of these coaches when they don't give you a towel, a towel bar or a towel hook. So I really like that they've given us those. And then we have really nice sized medicine cabinet with tons of storage and tons of countertop space with a stainless steel sink. Notice a nice big window that they give us here in the 31V. So it's very nice. You can get a lot of natural light in, which is great when you're doing your makeup. I know I would have loved that this morning in my hotel room as I was um, getting putting makeup onto the fluorescent flickering light. I would have loved to have some natural light. So here we are in the lovely master bedroom. There's a couple things I want to point out. So right when you walk in, you've got your AC control and heat control. So you've got one in the hallway, one in the bedroom. So that's really nice. You have your own AC unit for the bedroom. You're gonna sleep in complete comfort, um, warmth or cool, whatever you want it to be, which is great. And then you've got your light switch here. You have a nice size, queen size bed, but you've got room to walk around the bed all the way around the bed and you've got two nightstands. This is great. It seems like more and more people are needing CPAP machines. There's a place to set those or to put your book or your water, whatever. You also are gonna have two um, 110 outlets. So you're gonna have two on the bed base on this side and then you've got two on the wall just below me here. So you can plug in our charging devices, our phones, smartphone, whatever you need. Now over the bed, I like that we've got these stem lights. So these are new for 2020. You can push those on and they're totally directional. So that's really nice when you're reading at night. And then we've got the roller shades. Pull those up. We've got nice windows on the slide room on each side. So we're gonna be able to get that nice breeze coming through if it's a beautiful evening. And then check out all the storage we have. Again, the hard wood cabinetries with the double struts, and then this storage is super deep. So I'd probably have to put it in some bins and then pull it out, um, but lots of storage over um, the bed here. Note the nice padded headboard. So that's really nice if you wanna sit up and read a book, you've got something soft to lean up against. So look at all the storage wardrobe closet space we get in this coach. I absolutely love it. First of all, we have two huge wardrobes. Look at that. I call it the his and her or the marriage savers so that we each have our own separate <laughs> space. Now I'd like mine to be twice the size, but hey, I can, I can work with this. Then we've got this nice uh, insignia TV for our bedroom and behind it, it just lifts up. It's on two struts there. Super easy, huge storage space there. Flip down storage here with another 110 outlet in there. So if you wanna bring your DVD player, gaming system, you can hook those up in there. And then look at these nice, big, deep, full extension drawers. So I've got three here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven, nice deep one here. Eight, eight more drawers below. So tons of storage in this coach. I just love it. Then also notice that we've got this great big window. So we've got lots of, again, natural light coming in. There are two windows on the slide room. This big window here, which is also your emergency egress window. Hopefully we never need to use that, but you can easily open this up and exit this way if, you, if needed. Now, one more thing, we're not done with storage. There's still more storage in this master bedroom. So, just gonna lift this up. And you can see that nice storage, and there's a strut there that I can hold this up while I'm accessing my storage. So I wanted you to see how much space you have with your slides in. You could easily sleep in your bed with the slides in, get to your shower, Get to your bathroom because this area doesn't change at all access to your pantry your refrigerator your freezer your stove everything there's tons of room in this coach all right i want to go over all the features that we have here at the dash so first of all we've got our equalizer jack system so that's hydraulic leveling system and that's up and down not spring loaded so also this you can download an app and operate it from your phone as well so you need to first engage the park brake turn it on and then we're going to hit the auto level and you can hear the jacks starting to engage you'll note that it's letting us know that it's still operating once all four corners, red lights are illuminated and the beeping stops your level and you can turn off the power. When you're done camping and you're ready to leave, just hit retract all and your jacks will come up and you'll be ready to hit the road. The mirror heat is for our side view mirrors so we can defrost those and then this is so we can remotely move and change those so that they're the right settings. We have our battery boost button. So your battery boost button is very important. So it allows you to tie your house batteries to your chassis batteries. So say you come into your coach and your batteries are dead, you can't start the engine. It allows you to tie your house batteries to your chassis batteries and start your engine. Or say you come in and your house batteries are dead and you wanna start your generator. You're gonna tie your chassis batteries to your house batteries and start your generator. Now let's talk about something that's really sad. If you happen to come back to your coach and your chassis batteries are dead and your house batteries are dead, your battery boost button is not gonna do anything for you. Now this is never gonna happen if you're one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers where you're always plugged into power. If this does happen to you though, you've always got your mobile service coach net that will come and help you out of this situation. And our shade, that's our front shade up and down. Then we have our drink holder, nice and deep, our 12 volt receptacle, and then they've given us a handy dandy little holder for our cell phone. So we have our light button, park, our headlights, then this is our dash control light so we can brighten or dim the dash. On the steering column here, we have a lever that will allow you to adjust the position of the column. Then we've got our windshield wiper control here and our lane changing signal there. Then we have the cruise control on and off, resume, set accelerator and coast. Our gear shift here. Then down here we have our trip information. So we can hit information, miles to empty, engine hours, our trip, temperature outside, and then we can do the setup menu so that we can set it for whatever we would like those to be set at. And then we can go, and if you want to reset the, reset the miles to your trip, you can do that right here. All right, on this lever here, we have a button that says tow haul. So when you push that in, you're in tow haul mode. And basically what that does, if you're towing something and it's gonna, ch it's gonna change the shifting ratio so you don't keep jumping between say fifth and sixth gear, it will keep you in 
in fifth gear. Then the second thing it does, it will act as an engine brake. Say you're going down a steep grade and you don't want to keep riding your brake. So if you depress the brake pedal and let it off, it's going to stay in that gear until you press the accelerator. So it's not going to keep up shifting on you. It's going to do, it's going to stay in the same gear until you press the accelerator. Remember I've talked about some of the things that come standard in the Lante that you don't typically get. One of those big things is the six way powered um, captain's chair. So forward, backwards, tilt up and down the front, up and down the back, and then you can just move the seat up and raise it down. So that's something that you don't typically see in this level of coach. Here we have our info, infotainment center. You can, uh, you can do this as touch screen or you can use the remote to scroll through the different options. So here it's going to tell me that I have no disc. I can put a disc in here, CD or disc, and go to radio. My GPS, once I'm in GPS, I can touch screen to show the map. Go back to my menu destination, find address, find places, find people on the map, find something on the map, route options. So there are a lot of things you can customize this for you. Um, updates, picture viewer, unit converter, clothing, calculator, your help, country information, trip monitor, sunrise sunset, and fuel consumption. I can go to my Bluetooth here, make a phone call, my XM Sirius radio. Now this is where I have AV, I have no signal. I can put a CD in here and I can listen to it or a DVD in, I can listen to it but I can't view it while driving. Then we just have our dash control for our AC and heat. We can direct those, however we can start and stop our generator here and our lights internally on and off here. We've got a place where we can, you know, put things and then we also have the USB port for the driver. Little pad there that we can also put some other items. Just want to tell you how comfortable the captain and co-captain's chairs are. You're going to be able to spend hours here really enjoying the view and be very comfortable. So you have a drink holder here, little place for keys or whatever, pens, pencils, and we've got our vents so we can direct the heat or the cold towards us or away from us. Another cup holder here. I like that you have two so you can have your coffee, your water, your soda, spot for your cell phone, and then a great place to charge it here. You've got two USB ports and two 110 outlets. Also, you have the stem lights. So that's not going to interfere with the driver at all. So I can be reading my book or whatever at night and it's not going to fear with the captain. And then if you want your camping and you want to turn the chairs around, I showed them turn around earlier, but there's just a lever to your side here and you simply pull, pull that back and you're able to spin the chairs around. All right. Goodbye to National Indoor RV Centers. I'm going to hit my turn signal on. I'll be able to see down the full length of my coach now. I'm going to make a right hand turn here and we're going to head out to the freeway. So the nice thing about this, I've got my navigation system so I can input my destination and have that right here on the screen as I'm traveling down the road so I know where I'm going. Very easy to look at. You can see how quiet this is for a gas coach, very quiet. Once I get on the freeway, we'll turn on the cruise control and really start to enjoy our drive. All right, so I'm gonna get on the freeway here. It's really nice to have those side view cameras. I can see that there was a car coming up on the side of me. And now I've got it up to 60 miles per hour, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cruise control, hit the set, and now I can just sit back and enjoy the ride. We've got a beautiful evening here again on this 
120 inch windshield. I can just see the open road ahead of me and just totally enjoy my trip. So that's one of the things that I love about RVing. Your trip starts the minute you get into the coach. Um, you don't have to wait till you get to your destination or your campsite. So the fun begins now. So this is such a quiet riding coach. I just really love how I'm not hearing any squeaks or rattles. I've got my AC on, I've got the generator on, obviously my gas engine in front, and the decibel reader is 80.1. So this is super easy to drive. Don't be afraid to drive an RV. Come into National Indoor RV Centers. We'd love to have you take one of our coaches out for a test drive. I love this coach with the J-Ride components. It really gives a nice, smooth ride. I don't have a lot of sway side to side. Um, you're gonna love this coach. Come give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed my walkthrough of Jayco's 2020 Elante 31V. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this gorgeous coach costs. Well, MSRP is $131,557 or MAP pricing, which is minimum advertised pricing set by the manufacturer, is $92,999. Now, if you wanna know what I can sell you this coach for, please give me a call at 469-277-1120 or go to our website, nirvc.com. Make sure you check out our everyday best prices on Jayco's best selling floor plans. Now remember that with our volume and economies of scale, RV simply costs less at NIRVC. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe so that make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos. And thanks so much for watching.